Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Through the Years. In the last episode, we did the Dragon Spiral Tower, and in this episode, let's go for the team real quickly before we get started. We go into the Relic Castle once more. Um, let's lead off with Portobello because we've been leading with Helena for quite a while. Uh, let's go for the team real quickly before we actually go into it. Nothing much has changed, I don't think anything has changed, but... It's just a reminder for me because it's been quite a while since I last recorded. We have a Portobello with a Miracle Seed, uh, with a Lychee, a Seed Bomb, Sky Uppercut, and Mark Punch. We have Helena with Psy Beam, Psy Wave, Hax, and Astonish. We have Bacon with Bulldoze, Arm Thrust, Flamethrower, and Assurance. We have Boomju with Wake Up Slap, Sing, Metronome, Wild Card, and Minimize. We have Coral with Shadow Sneak, Pin Missile, Soccer Punch, and Nightshade. It's actually a useful Burg type. Who would have thought? We have Elven with Encore, Shockwave, Volt Switch, and Acrobatics. Without Fly. Uh, the emulator has been doing a little bit like of weird stuff. It's been kind of like stuttery lately. So I hope that's not going to be an issue uh, with this recording session. Uh, we're going to go into the Rally Castle. I think last time we didn't really fight any of the trainers here. So maybe we'll end up having to go through some of the trains we didn't before. I prefer not to. But then again, it's probably going to be fairly easy because these are all going to be like level 20, mid-20s, uh, mid I want to say. And I'm mid-40s, so a print plop at level 19. That shouldn't be any issue whatsoever because we've got something to deal with that. That being Seed Bomb. Did we need Seed Bomb there? No. No, we did not. We probably would have been more than fine with... Uh, just using Mark Punch. But hey, overkill is fun. And uh, we do not get to get this Thor. Thor. I always... I still want to say Thor. I know it's not. I know it's Thor. But Thor is a stupid-ass name. So, Relic Castle it is. I just don't know exactly what to do and where to go in a relic castle if i'm being honest with you uh it's been a while since i've gone this far into black and white one so i'm just gonna go in here i also bit my cheek earlier uh okay so this is the right way to go uh that's the entrance of the relic castle you're impressive making it here before i did dealing with the desert resource pokemon took longer than i would have thought you the, the, the level like under level 20. we're at the like End of the game, almost. Don't know what the fuck's wrong with you, but that shouldn't... Uh, bad memories. Shrekian and stuff. Uh, and apparently now Rapidash. So we're not going to be able to catch any new Pokemon in here. Because we already failed at catching uh, one Pokemon before. I think... We, okay, so we need to make it over to uh, that other staircase over there. So, nothing is going to be particularly difficult. I think once we make it a little bit deeper in, the Pokemon will have higher levels, which technically means it's a different catch list. So, then again, there's also different catch lists for different areas within the castle, the Relic Castle itself. So, I don't know if I'm going to count that. I think I'm going to count that just to give myself, like, one more encounter. Because I frankly need it. I have over a hundred dead Pokemon and only, like, eleven alive ones, I want to say. I hurt. It hurts. It actually hurts. Talking hurts. That, that, that's not good. Talking hurts. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, we're... Okay. I'm 20 levels higher. I'm just going to stay in a mark point and see what this does. Just because it's fun. It does about half HP and it paralyzes me. Because of course it would. I thought I would have a little bit of fun. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun. But no, you had to paralyze me. Of course you did. Electric, you know what? We do with Electric. If you want to paralyze me like that, that's fine. I'm just going to bulldoze your electric types. Fuck you, and your Pokemon, bye-bye. Now you're dead. Not just your Electric, that Bulldoze probably, like, murdered the trainer as well. Which was a Psychic trainer, and uh, I'm sorry if that was loud, but I needed to adjust my pop filter. I just need to get a new mic set up, like, desperately. Is this... Nope. 
it's it's not what I thought it was. Uh, so I need to actually make it all the way to the staircase. I don't think they let you go down there initially until this point in the game. Uh, though I don't know that for 100% certain. Um, usually this is the point in the video where I go into an anecdote about how my life sucks and how people suck and how people are stupid. But honestly, that didn't happen this week. Uh, this week's been a fairly uneventful, let's try to, no, uh, get rid of paralysis. One thing did happen though, I actually saw somebody, uh, say like, please back the fuck up and get like six feet away from me in the grocery store. It's been the first time since, what the fuck? It's been the first time since the whole corona situation like actually happened, I've seen somebody do that. It was an old lady, and interestingly enough, right, because I fully agree with her. I try to stay, like, at least six feet apart from people, which, um... Okay, we can walk around it. Never mind. At all times. Sometimes that's not fully possible. But, uh, I, I give it my best try anyway, right? So what level are you? You're still level 20. Okay. Uh, but I actually saw a old lady, like, old lady, like, mid-60s, probably. Ask somebody to back the fuck up. Not with those words, just like, could you please back up and like keep your distance? And dude was like, oh yeah, I'm sorry. And I'm very sorry they have to see me murder this magic up as well. Uh, he didn't say that, that would be weird, saying that in the middle of a grocery store. Uh, but something interesting happened like in my brain. No! We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Fuck you, by Groudon. Because I fully agree with her. But at the same time, I was like, you're being a bit of a Karen right now? Even though, really, when you think about it, she really wasn't. She had every right to ask that man to back up a little bit because he was standing too close to her. And she is a vulnerable, like, group because she's, like, over 60, at which point the virus becomes a bit more dangerous. Uh, that being said, like, we're not in a situation uh, like America here. We have, like, we have a, like, fairly, like, countable, <laughs> I mean, everything is countable, but, like, realistically, you can, like, just count up to the number. I don't know how much. It's just, like, a very small amount of people actually hospitalized with the virus right now because we don't have stupid people. Well, we have a lot of stupid people, never mind. Um, we have less stupid people, and the people that are stupid are generally a little bit less stupid uh, than the non-mask-wearing protesting people. And I'm aware that uh, we here have a situation where we don't have, like, uh, a racial movement going on at the same time, which is very important that you can't just, like, shelve that away for later. That's happening now, and it has to happen now. Side effect of that being all the people are out and about protesting, and the virus gets spread through that. Um, I'm aware of that, and then there's also... That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people who are like, this is my country, my body, my choice. The same people who are like, abortions, let's not do that. Um, and not wearing a mask when they go out, right? So, um, we don't have as much of that, so our country is a lot more stable with the virus, and there's, there's a bit of a second wave going on, but nowhere near as bad as, uh, specifically America. <laughs> so, um, it's not that big of a deal, but I understand as, like, a older person, uh, she's totally in the right, but at the same time, I was like, yeah, don't bitch about it. There was, a, like, a purely emotional response was just like, don't bitch so much about it. But then when I thought about it for more than a second, I was like, yeah, but she should. She, she definitely should. I personally, like, don't ask people to back up because I don't care. I tend to, like, stay away from people. But when people don't stay away from me, I generally don't make, like, a fuss about it. And that is partly because I just don't like the confrontation and I don't really care too much. Um, but maybe I should. Maybe I should. I don't know. Um... But this, this old lady, it was a very interesting experience for me, let's just say, because uh, I had v two very 
opposite feelings very close to each other. I'm assuming that I have to go through here because there is a grunt here and that usually means it's the right direction to go in. Um, but Trio, we can actually stay in against you. Nice. I don't think I have Mega Drain anymore, or Giga Drain, do I? No, I have Leech Seek, which ain't bad either necessarily, but uh, I would very really like to get rid of this Paralysis. I don't know if we have to fight any, like, admins here. I very much doubt that we have to fight Gatsis, and we don't have to, I know that we don't have to fight Anne. And I don't think there's any other admins in Team Plasma, so... I'm gonna go ahead and assume that we only have to fight Grunt here today, and Dratini! That's a dupe's clause. Also, not allowed to capture anything in here. Um, because I have no idea whether or not this is actually the first... Uh, that's uh, that's the wrong way to go, isn't it? I got a sunstone out of it, which means that I don't think I have a gloom anymore. But if I did, I would have been able to get a blossom. Yeah, I, I definitely have a dead blossom in the box, actually. I think I have a blossom and a vile plume in the box, as a matter of fact. Pharaoh Seed. That would have been... A not bad encounter either. You know what would have been a real good encounter to get here, though? Fucking Terrakian. Oh, this is... Did I just fuck up? I feel like I just fucked up. Quagsire. There's a lot of things in here which die to Portobello. Sadly, Portobello is a paraly uh, paralysis. Paralyzed, that's the word I'm looking for. Holy fuck, I've been stumbling over my words a little bit more than usual today. Also did the same thing yesterday on stream, it was just like, I don't know why, uh, I already have a Monferno, but uh, thank you very much for offering. I don't know why, maybe just because I'm, I'm tired and I've been busy and uh, it's just like been a, not, not a great week altogether, honestly. Uh, so maybe it's part of that. My brain is like, just like, like, let me rest, please, let me do nothing. That being said, the Kingdom was built by sleep recording I did uh, yesterday for me. Uh, it's the entire week's worth of episodes I did. Didn't actually go that badly. So, I don't understand what's going on. The, the, that commentary is a lot more gameplay focused, and here I actually have to come up with what I'm talking about. So, surely it's the one down there, though. Hello, Togepi! You are the bane of my existence, I fucking hate you, because you're useless, and then you evolve, and then you're a little bit less useless, but still very useless, and then you only become useful once you evolve again. At which point you actually become very, very good. Well, not very, very good. You, you become good enough. Right? Okay, so... Let's go up a you. You outspeed me. Of course you do, I'm paralyzed. But... This is what I mean with, like, stupid brain. Mushona, let's not stay in against you. Actually, that is Helena. I was gonna go into uh, Bacon to use a dark tap move, then I remembered, oh, I have a ghost type, which is way better for this because am I also a poison type? I always forget. I don't think Helena is a poison type. Don't think so. We're gonna go ahead and say no. We're about to find out. Nope. Helena is not a poison type. For some reason, I always think that the Miss Reavers line is also a poison type, just like the Ghastly line, because I don't know why. Just let me be Hello Tyrogue. Uh, I guess we stay in against you as well. I'd very much like to get a Psychic TM. I am 99% sure that it is a post-game TM, so I'm not going to get Psychic on Helena. So I need a better Psychic, like a, or a better ghost type would do as well. I'm gonna pick up this item before I jump down that hole. This entire side quest kind of annoys me because it messes up like the, the flow of the game a little bit and you have to fly back and forth between towns and you have a lot of cutscenes and stuff like that. I, I don't particularly like it. But we have to go through it and is this a double battle? I feel like this is a, a wild fight. I feel like this is a double battle. Also, I think this video is going up the same day as the first... It's not a double battle, is it? It's just two battles back to back. Uh, I think this is going up the same day as the first Minecraft build tutorial. If you are a member, which most of you aren't, which is totally okay, uh, let's go into Elven. It's the first flying type we've run into today, and that's what I have Elven for. Um... You'll know that I, uh, I was thinking the 
second most watched video by and large on the channel in the past month, in the past two months actually, uh, has been the Minecraft um, mushroom farm thing. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try every week, maybe every other week at the, in the beginning just to see how they do. Um, I guess we stay in against that. And I'm just going to do like shorter build videos, like about 10 minutes long. I'm trying to make them just to have a little bit of like body to the video. Uh, but I made a Piglin trading farm uh, video and I'm going to probably make a lot of farm related videos and tutorials and stuff like that. Because they seem to be doing fairly well. And when something does well, I am motivated to do more of that, even though... I mean, I, I talked about this at length in that video, um, so I, I probably shouldn't, like, go too deep into it here. No, we can stay in against that. But, uh, the only thing I'm worried about is Minecraft channels generally aren't very variety content, and my channel is, like, the definition of being variety content, so if that gets more views, like, all my other content probably won't gain too much from it, and... Technically speaking, it would be actually harmful to the channel to keep uploading that stuff, so maybe I should... Dynamic Punch, let's... I don't think that's a good... Um, that's not a great idea. Um, so maybe I should just, like, put that on another channel, but then uh, it doesn't get the benefit from, like, the algorithm seeing it's on my channel, which actually, like, gets, like, a thousand, well, 900 watch hours per month. Uh, so it, it gets a harder time, like, getting boosted and stuff like that. So it's, it's a real... It's a real big deal, and I'm just gonna see how it goes over the next, like, couple of months. Uh, at least the next month or so, and see if it, uh, if it actually does anything good for me. Anyway, that's your PSA out of the way. If you've seen a Minecraft video, I only talked about it in a member video, so I figured let's just drop it right here at, like, 15 minutes into, well, 18 minutes by now, but when it started, probably 15 minutes, uh, into this random Let's Play video. You probably figured it out just when I uploaded it, right? As a matter of fact, you're probably watching this and you're like, Did you upload a Minecraft video? Huh, I didn't even notice, because there's a decent chance that you actually didn't get the notification, because that's how YouTube works these days. Well, if you ring the bell icon, which you should, um, you get a notification of every video I upload, but other than that, if you are just relying solely on your feed, you, uh... uh we have to walk back to the museum, that's not that big of a deal. Um, is it though? Oh, it's actually a huge deal, now that I think about it, because, yeah, I'm not going to walk back, I'm going to use my dad Charizard for that. Because if you solely rely on your uh, feed to get videos, and you're only really into Pokemon, and you watch a lot of Pokemon related content, you probably didn't even get the Minecraft video, you probably don't even get the Kingdom Hearts videos in your feed, to be honest. Uh, so... You might have not noticed the fact that there was a Minecraft video uploaded. And if you're into that, go check it out. It should be up on the channel by now. Because I think this has been uploaded on Wednesday, right? It's, uh, it's getting the Wednesday morning upload slot for me. Uh, I'm not going to do two uploads a day, like, every day. But I have a... Like, every Saturday morning for members there's a video. Once a month. Uh, I tend to do that on Sunday, I think, the analytics videos. Uh, it, it's like 12 hours, like, exactly in between the usual Let's Play uploads, right? So now I have one more video per week. So that means that I now I'm up to seven Let's Play parts, one Minecraft video, and one Showdown video only for members uh, per week. So that's a total of nine videos per week I'm producing for you guys. I wasn't going to overwork myself again, remember that? I don't think you remember that because I don't think I uh, I mentioned that ever on on video. I had some times before I like stopped making videos. I had a time where I did like two videos a day. Like I had times where I did fourteen videos a week, even more. I think at uh, certain times. So and I was like, yeah, let's let's not do that again. And I'm starting to go that direction again. I can feel it. Because I'm like, oh, I want to do so many things, and I'm at the same time also working on this, um, this like this lore channel. Uh, it, it's a bit, it's the channel that I had uh, for like the Avatar video I did a while ago, uh, the Avatar Last Airbender video analysis. 
turns out, writing a full analysis of every single episode of Avatar is uh, quite a big task to go through. So I ended up not doing that, and instead I'm going to turn it into a bit more of a lore channel, which is a lot easier to produce because I can literally just copy my scripts of the Avatar wiki, or whatever wiki uh, I am doing lore videos on. It's a lot easier to edit, but it's also something that I, uh, I want to like build up a little bit of a buffer for. I want to go two videos a week on that as well, if at all possible. Uh, and maybe I'll end up not doing that, but I want to go two videos a week on that. And for the time being, I want to go one Avatar video and one Harry Potter video a week. Uh, but I'm not starting those uploads until I have at least four weeks worth of videos ready to start uploading. So that I know I have a bit of a... Uh, a buffer and can see how those uh, like how that month of videos goes and depending on that i can decide whether or not i want to keep up every week two videos or whether or not i can like afford to take a bit of a lean back if it gets like comparable views to the uploads i got here which isn't that great like at least 10 per video which is about 20 per week which is like if it gets 100 views in that month right all together um, it'll be worth it because that means that there's at least a little bit of an audience there and it has a chance to grow. Also, depending on the growth of that channel uh, in the first month and that kind of stuff, uh, I, I might be doing two of those videos as well, which those videos are significantly more work than just doing a Let's Play video. At which point I would be producing nine videos a week here, which are very easily produced, and then producing two more videos there, which are... So that's already up to 11 videos per week uh two of which are actually like edit heavy and i have to do uh a script reading which is a bit more difficult than just like randomly rumbling and stuff like that anyhow <laughs> i think we're about to uh, end of this episode i think we go to the final gym next episode well we're not doing the final gym next episode we are going through the route for the final gym next episode. So we don't have to fight anybody here, so I probably should have just kept Charizard on my team. Is what I'm hearing? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. So let's go back and end of the episode where we didn't start it, actually. We started in Nimbasa City because I figured I, I'll just fly there off screen and then I won't have to use Charizard on screen. Not to hide it from you guys, obviously, because I could have just walked back there. Would have taken me fucking forever, but I could have just walked back there. Let's not put Helena in this box because I'm gonna get things mixed up. Also, uh, off screen, I put all the other dead Pokemon I had in boxes that are actually available because I needed to get uh, my dead any flying Pokemon, but I went with Charizard because it was the first one I saw <laughs> uh, to actually fly on because none of the Pokemon I had in the dead box or a live box for that matter uh, could actually learn fly. I didn't have any Pokemon capable of flying which is a little bit sad. So I think next episode we're going to get the opportunity to get like two or three new Pokemon, which is very exciting because I fucking need it. But that will be next episode. Until then, we will be ending this episode in a moment when I have put you back in the box. And then I don't know why I'm using deposit and withdraw rather than just move. I don't even know why Deposit and Withdraw are even a thing rather than just using move Pokemon. That seems like just a remnant from how it worked back in Gen 1 and 2. And they just never bothered to switch those out. They never bothered to remove Withdraw and, um, and Deposit. Because move Pokemon is the only thing you need in the box. It's... That's a rant for an entirely different day. I don't have time to go into that right now. Until the next time, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have enjoyed this video, which hopefully you have, uh, you just buy. You, you know how this works. There's going to be an ad screen. There's going to be a subscription button there. There's also a subscription button below this video. You probably already clicked it by this point in the video, if you're new here. And if you're still around, that is. And if you're not still around, you probably didn't click it. But there's a very small chance that you're still around and didn't already click it. But just in case that is happening here, there will be a button on screen in a moment for you to click on. And there's also a button on screen with a recommended video YouTube thinks you will like. I don't know why I'm explaining this to you. You know how end screens works. Bye.